Hey guys, so a little while ago, I got the Valk 4 and made a review for it. And in that review, I said that I'm going to try it in a competition and see how that goes because I wasn't really sure yet. And the thing with cubes these days is it's hard to say right away if a cube is that good because they're not making very big improvements or any improvements at all over some of the other cubes. Also, this is my first competition where I got to wear this awesome new jacket from Speedcube Shop. Thank you, Speedcube Shop. Use the discount code JPERM. So if you haven't seen the review, just a quick recap of what I said in that review. The other two good 4x4s were the Wuchui M and the Aosu GTS 2 M, although I think the Aosu GTS 2 was better. The Vulk 4 in comparison is faster than both of them, but a little harder to control. And I think for big cubes, that's an okay trade-off because the faster it is, the less effort you have to use when you turn, and you can put more of that effort into turning accurately. So it really just came down to whether I liked it or not and whether I could perform in competition with this. So I got to do two averages at this competition, and my first average was a low 30 which was okay and the next average after that which is the one you're seeing now I did way better and I'm sure I got lucky I didn't count how many parodies I got but maybe it was also partially due to the fact that I was more used to the Valk 4 after the first round because I was starting to feel more confident on it and so my previous best average in competition was 34.65 and this average was a 34.70 which is really sad once you look at what happened on the last solve. So anyway, I should have beaten my competition average by over half a second, but I messed up. Still, I only got two tries to do it, so the Valk 4 is definitely my main now. So if you're looking for an upgrade, I think it's an upgrade over the Wuchui, but I don't think it's an upgrade over the Aosu GTS 2, because between those two, it's really just your preference. Okay, that's it for my thoughts on the Valk 4. Let's head over to the Valk 5. The Valk 5. So the turning feels a lot like the Vault 4 and kind of like the Vault Power and the X-Man Shadow, but like a really fast version of the X-Man Shadow. So we have the colored plastic here on the outer pieces, but on the center pieces we have primary internals. And in contrast, the Vault 4 has completely primary internals. My main right now is the Moyu Outrong GTS-M, and as you can see, the GTS-M has a lot more rounded pieces while this one is a lot more squared. The rounded pieces took me a while to get used to, but the Outrong GTS's performance in my opinion is better than the Wuchuang, especially because it's a lot faster than the Wuchuang, which is the old cube from Chi. This also feels a little smaller because of the pieces not being jagged on the outside, but I believe they should be about the same size. So because of the squared sides of this cube, it feels a lot like the Wuchuang instead of the GTS. But then now I'm kind of used to that and the performance is not really similar to the Wuchuang at all. The Wuchuang is a lot slower and I feel doesn't corner cut all that well. This one definitely corner cuts better um, and is a lot faster, but it does have weird catches. So it's actually pretty similar to the Valk 4 in this regard. So for turning control and preventing catches, I feel like this is not as good as the Outrun GTS, but I think it has a lot of potential because of its speed. It feels a little bit more flexible than the Outrun GTS, and because of that, it has more catches, but it's also faster, and I hope I'll be able to take advantage of this because on big cubes, that's a really big plus. So I've been using the Valk 5 for a little while, and I would say the speed is close to the Outrun GTS, possibly faster, but that probably just depends on what lube you use to set it up. A lot of the performance qualities are similar, but it's faster, and that is better on big cubes. And it catches about a similar amount, maybe a little bit more. So I don't know if this will be my main, but it looks like it's going to get me faster than the Outrun GTS because I'm already averaging about the same and I'm not used to it yet. And that's normal for a new cube, especially when I've been using another cube for such a long time. I feel like there's not that much more to say because it is a 5x5, so corner cutting, there's not that much to look at there. And the magnet strength is pretty much the same as what you'd expect. So the same as like the Wuchuang and the Outrun GTS. So if you have the Wuchuang and you're looking for an upgrade, I think the Valk 5 is pretty good. But if you have the Outrun GTS, I'd say it would give you a different feel for sure. But I don't think it's all that necessary to go for the Valk 5 as the Outrun GTS is very similar in its performance for me. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.